Hi everyone, welcome to Explored Maths. Today, the problem we have to solve is What is the value of x if x squared is equal to 33 squared plus 66 squared plus 99 squared? So, let us see the solution. So, in first step, we will write x squared is equal to 33 squared plus 66 squared plus 99 squared and to eliminate this square we will take square root on both sides of equation therefore this square root will cancel this square and x will be equal to square root of this 33 can be separated in this way it is same as 11 times 3 whole squared plus in the same way this 66 is same as 11 times 6 whole squared plus 99 is same as 11 times 9 whole squared and now here we can follow a rule of exponents as we know that a times b to whole power n is equal to a to power n times b to power n so now here by following this rule here we can write x is equal to square root of 11 squared times 3 squared plus 11 squared times 6 squared plus 11 squared times 9 squared or now a next step x is equal to square root of we can take 11 square as a common factor from whole expression so it will be 11 squares into here left will be 3 squared plus here left will be 6 squared plus here will be left is 9 squared so now here x will be equal to square root of 11 squared into 3 square is same as 9 plus 6 square is equal to 36 plus 9 square is equal to 81 or in next step so now here x will be equal to square root of 11 squared times 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 1 will be 16 6 is here 1 is carried 8 plus 3 is 11 and plus 1 will be 12 so now here we can see that we have here an exponential value and uh, we will also get this value in exponential form of index form so here we will factorize it 126 first it will be divided by 2 so here 6 times 2 is 12 and 3 times 2 is 6 again it will be divided by 3 2 times 3 is 6 and 1 times 3 is 3 and uh, now it will be divided by 3 again it will be 7 and uh, 7 is prime number so it will be divided by itself so here it will be 1 and so here we can see that the factors of 126 are 3 squared times 2 times 7 so here first we will write in this way as square root of a times b it can be written as square root of a times square root of 
b. So now here by following this rule, we can write this term in this way x equal to square root of 11 squared times square root of 126 or x will be equal to square root of 11 squared times here we can write this form of 126 so here it will be 3 squared times 7 times 2 is 14 or x equal to this square root will be cancelled by this square and 11 times here we can write square root of 3 squared times square root of 14 or now x will be equal to 11 times this square root will cancel by this square here it will be 3 times square root of 14 so in next step x will be equal to 11 times 3 is equal to 33 times square root of 14 and that is our final answer i hope you would have liked the video please subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks for watching take care bye